How to sell anything to anyone. I'm gonna be showing you like literally the story of two islands and why these two islands can literally change your life when it comes to sales, persuasion, and the psychology of getting people to buy. Hey, this is Bing Jun here. And on this video, I'm gonna be revealing to you why these two islands have helped me sell online and offline through live events, like literally how I managed to spell tens of millions of dollars on live stages in front of three, 5,000, 10,000 people stadiums. So in this little framework over here that we have, I would like you to imagine that there are two islands. On this side over here on my left is the Hell Island in pretty pink. And on the right hand side, let's use yellow. This is Heaven Island. Now I want you to imagine that right now, your prospect is over here, okay? And their goal is to get across and come here. And they know that if they could get across and get here, their life would be better off. How would their life be better off? They would somehow make more money, have more time, become more confident, avoid effort, better a certain skill, become healthier, happier, more productive. Their life in one way, shape or form would be better off if they bought that product, program, service, that you offer. We gotta understand, and you gotta understand, that when it comes to persuasion, there's really just three ways, three different angles of persuading somebody to take action. Number one is the vision of Heaven Island. I want you to notice that most marketers, whenever they try to sell something, they're always using this first angle. It sounds like, would you like to make passive income online? Would you like to quit your full-time job? Would you like to fire your boss? What if I told you that vision of Heaven Island is actually the least effective out of the three different angles? What if I told you that number two, the second angle was a lot more powerful? Do you think people change and do you think people take action because of motivation? Or do you think people are more likely to take action to avoid pain? And I can tell you most of the time, people don't wake up in the morning thinking, how can I be more healthy today? Most of us, we take health for granted. When does a person really appreciate the health? You know the answer, it's when they lose it. A person is more likely to think about, how can I cure my toothache? How can I get rid of the pain in my joints when it actually happens, right? Nobody actually wakes up thinking, how can I become more healthy? Which is vision of Heaven Island. So number two is the symptoms of Hell Island. Write this down if you're if you want to make the most of this video, write down specificity sells. So broad pain would be like, is your Facebook ads account losing money? Specific pain would be like, did your Facebook ads account get shut down recently? Is your Facebook relevancy score below a six? Broad pain, health and fitness would be like, do you always feel tired? Specific would be, do you usually feel tired after having lunch? Are you not able to eat right because of a very busy lifestyle and schedule? Think about, your audience right now, and what is the different statements from Vision of Heaven Island, and more importantly, the symptoms of Hell Island. Now, if a person still does not take action, what is wrong with this person? If they're not moved by how beautiful Heaven Island is, and the payoff of being on Heaven Island, if the pain that they're in is still not painful enough, what's wrong with this person? And the way to think about this is, I'd like you to imagine that like, you literally went to this island and you spoke to this person and you asked, hey man, what's wrong with you? Why are you not taking action? It's a beautiful place over there. Let me show you, let me take you to the promised land. If you told this person that and you're still not taking action, what do you think could be the different things this person will be telling you? This person could be saying, well, how do I know if heaven even exists? Right, there's some people who think that way. Like, how do I know this is not some fantasy land? What else could this person be saying? This person would be saying, how do I know that there's only one Heaven Island? Because two minutes before this, I just saw another Facebook ad that promised me this promised land, and it looks like there are 200 different Heaven Islands out there. How do I know if this is the real Heaven Island? All these different things, if it's not vision of Heaven Island, if it's not the symptoms of Hell Island, what do you think it is right now? And this, these are sharks. The reason why they're not crossing is what are these sharks? These sharks are the objections. Think about 
how can you answer their objections? That's just the third thing. Let's say I want to sell protein powder to my audience on Instagram, or it could be on email or Facebook ad through my affiliate link on Amazon, okay? And I'm serving an audience of bodybuilders. If I wanted to come from the angle of Vision of Heaven Island, what would it be like? It would sound like, would you like to be able to build muscle easily and eat right even when you're on the go? What's the symptoms of Hell Island? Symptoms of Hell Island would be like, do you struggle to eat right because of your busy schedule? You wanna think about your audience going like, yeah, I do struggle to eat right because of my busy schedule. What is a common objection? It could be like, Price, right? Price is one, probably one of the most common objections, which was like, protein powder is expensive. So if I wanted to put this out there in a the form of a Facebook ad or Instagram, what would it sound like? It would sound like this. It would say like, what does it actually take to eat right? And would you like to be able to increase your strength, your conditioning, even when you are on the go? Hey, this is Ping Jun here. And many people ask me, how did I become known as Ping Jun the Beast? And the truth is, it is my ability to eat right even when I'm on the go. As bodybuilders, we all know, and by the way, I'm just totally making this up as I'm going along, is we all know that protein is the main building block for all bodybuilders, right? But one of the most common things people tell me is that protein powder is really expensive. Chicken breasts roughly have 30 grams of protein versus one scoop of protein, that's got about 30 grams. And did you know that one scoop of protein is actually cheaper than an entire chicken breast. So if anything at all, protein powder actually saves you money. What did I essentially do? I'm linking Vision of Heaven Island with symptoms of pain with the objection. If it's not the price, perhaps they could be going, uh, too much protein is bad for the kidney. So that's when in my email on Facebook, on Instagram, I'm gonna say, hey, one of the things I wanna tackle today is people tell me that too much protein is bad for my kidney. And let's talk about whether there's any truth to this. That is how you sell anything to anyone. Understand that people are only moved by these three angles. And as always guys, if this video got you value, I'd love for you to subscribe for more videos like these. If you wanna take your game on sales, marketing, and ads to a whole new dimension, click on the subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what you learned and as well as your biggest takeaway from this video. This is Peng Jun here and I look forward to seeing you at the next video.